Hi, this is Roger in Finland and today we're taking a look at how does the HDMI out of the Sony A6400 work for video and all its quirks. And for the impatient ones, if you want to record externally with the A6400, the clean HDMI out gives you a 422 8-bit signal up to 4K 30p. And then if you're using 1080p, you can also get the camera information out through the HDMI. But now let's go through some of the quirks that this camera has on the HDMI output. So first of all is that the limitations and the quirks depend on the resolution where you're shooting. So let's have a 4K section and then a 1080p section. Starting for 4K, you can only get the clean HDMI out of the Sony A6400. It's not possible to also show the display information, which basically means navigating through the menus and get all the battery information and how much time remaining, all of that stuff you cannot get that through the HDMI out. And what you get, as I said for the impatient ones, is a 422 8-bit signal. If you're in PAL, 25p in 4K. If you're in NTSC, either 24 or 30p, we're still in 4K. And that's important because it gives you a little bit more information than recording internally. Internally, this camera does 420 8-bit. Externally, 422 still 8-bit. One nice thing is that while it's outputting the clean signal through the HDMI, the camera of the screen operates in the normal mode, meaning that you can navigate all the menus and do everything you want, including the touch operation, which includes touch to focus, you can check my video on it, and also touch to tracking. And that's nice because that will be a limitation in some other use case. One other limitation of the A6400 and using the HDMI out and shooting in 4K is that the face detection autofocus doesn't work if you're also recording internally in the camera. The workaround for that is that you can disable the internal recording, which means that if you want to record anything at all, you need an external recorder. And if so, if you have something like the Atomos Ninja 5, then you can get the clean HDMI out from the camera using the menus and whatnot from the camera screen. You cannot record internally. You will be recording into the SSD in the Atomos Ninja 5, but you do get the face detection out of focus. Then in 1080p, you also do get the clean HDMI out, which means that the screen works normally, touch out to focus and everything. The limitations are almost the same than in 4K, but the face detection autofocus is not disabled. So basically if you're using 1080p, face detection autofocus works in any mode while using the, the HDMI out. Then the thing that you can do in 1080p but you could not do in 4K is turn the HDMI info display on, which basically will use the HDMI out and the whatever monitor you're using as the only camera screen. So when you do that, the screen of the camera itself goes black, cannot be used at all, doesn't show anything, and everything is being shown only through the HDMI, so in whatever monitor you have in there. In here, the limitation is that the touch operation of the camera is then disabled. The screen does not only go black, but doesn't do anything else at all. So basically, if you want to do touch to focus, you can only do it if you can see things in the screen, which make kind of sense, but I tried to see if you can do it by guessing, but it doesn't even let you do it. So if you need to use touch to focus or tracking, touch to track, you will have to set up your HDMI settings in a way that the camera screen is still enabled. So that means basically um, you can only do it if you have the clean HDMI out and or, which is the same thing, having the HDMI info display off. In addition to the touch to focus and touch to track limitation, there's another one associated to using the A6400 in 1080p with the HDMI info display turned on, which is that some of the monitoring functions do not work through the HDMI. And those, for what I've discovered, are zebra and peaking. So if you need zebra or peaking and you still want to use the A6400 with the HDMI out and have the HDMI info display on to see all those things, you will have to use Zebra and picking functionalities from your monitor itself. And one thing that is annoying about that is that they are applied to whatever comes in, meaning that the menus will be highlighted by the picking because they are sharp and you may get also zebras on top of the white parts of the menus because they are highlighted or possibly clipping. So that's a little bit annoying, but that's the workaround. The one monitoring function that does work through the HDMI and the camera display info turn on, that is the histogram. So that's something that is shown through the HDMI. 
So remember, yes to the histogram, no to Zebra, no to picking. Hopefully you're using a monitor that has all of those functionalities and maybe waveform and false color and something else. So probably you don't want or need the monitoring uh, functionalities from the camera, but these are the limitations that you should be aware of in case you were planning to use them. A6400, HDMI out, 1080p, and getting the HDMI info out of the camera. So now you know a little bit more about the small quirks, limitations, and how to get around some of them. Um, I have to say that getting around uh, face tracking autofocus with the Tomos Ninja 5 is kind of an expensive workaround, but it's not impossible, but at least now you know how these things work. I hope this was helpful. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we're going to see you soon for some more content.